Sewing on a Button, presented by The Art of Manliness and Real Men Real Style. Hi, I'm Antonio Centeno, and I would appreciate it if you would subscribe to this YouTube channel. That way these videos, they come right to you. In addition, if you like this video, if you find it useful, I would appreciate it if you would click on the like button right down there below. Okay, so buttons, they fall off in the laundry. They break apart, and occasionally they have to be moved when the collar is too tight. I think a man should be self-sufficient enough to be able to make this small repair. So what are you going to need? First, you need a needle. Two if possible, and I'll show you where you're going to need the other one here in a second. You can also make do with a toothpick or a small pin. 24 inches of thread, matching button or any button in a pinch, knife or scissors, something to cut with an emergency sewing kit. If you're in a hotel at a convention center, simply go to the and to, to the front desk and ask for one of these if you need to make a, a repair. They're usually pretty easy to find and they have exactly what you need. So here four inches of thread which has been doubled over and a button. So what do I mean? The first thing we're going to do is we're going to double the thread over. And what that means is we're going to run the thread through the eye of the needle and we're going to take 24 inches of thread and turn it into 12. We're also going to knot the end. The reason you want to do this is it's going to, in a sense, double the strength of the, th of the thread and you're going to be able to sew quite a bit more in half the time. The second thing, starting on the back side, you're going to run the needle through the area where you want the button to be. What we're going to do is we're going to stitch from the back to the front, then from the front to the back, and we're going to create an anchor, an anchor X exactly. And this is where the button is going to be placed. So see that little X there? That's my, my exact point where I want to place the button. Using the second needle, and this is where we use it, as a spacer, we begin sewing the button down. And I'll, I'll explain in a second why we want this spacer. So we're going back in and going from back to front, front to back, we're using the anchor X to keep ourselves aligned as we know where to sew. And after approximately six passes, you're ready to remove the spacer. Now, notice because we have a double thread, this is actually more like 12 pieces of thread are going back and forth here. We remove the spacer and what we're going to do is create a shank. And a shank allows the button to sit just off of the fabric and makes it easier to button and will actually enable the button to stay and to last longer. Once you're finished with the six wraparounds, then dive the needle down and we're going to be tying it off, which is step five. So we're going to tie off the back side by threading it right through the back again, as you can see here. And then we're going to tie a simple knot. Cut and we. So the button should last long. You should have any issues. And that is all you need to sew on a button. So for more information, go ahead and visit theartofmanliness.com or Real Men Real Style where you can collect and get more information about men's style. And that is it.